for mini lesson, lesson six, the idea is to start having students work with stories that are about any storyline you'd like. I usually will do puppies in the park stories. It seems to entertain teachers and students. And the idea here is that for goal one, you're going to be telling very simple stories. You don't have to add fancy details to them. Just very simple that add up to five or less than five. So an example of that would be there were three puppies playing at the park and then two more puppies joined them. Now how many puppies were playing? What, what we want to do is model with our students the idea that we'd be showing three fingers to start with and then adding two more fingers on to the same hand. Now the key here, of course, is that we want students to fill up their one hand all the way to five before they start using their second hand. This is because of the subitization, that when students can just recognize the sum on their hand without having to count, we're closer to our goal of having them understand and become fluent with their basic facts. Now, you may decide that you want the students to also have the opportunity to do this kind of thinking with a five frame. And so, puppies in the park, there's a bonus resource that you can download that will allow you to print out on just a couple of pages the five puppy five frames that you see on the screen. And then students can reveal, they can cover up the whole frame with their hand or with a piece of paper, and then they can reveal the first add end that you tell them and then the second add end. So for instance, it could look like this. There were three puppies playing at the park. There are the three that, that the you and the students could reveal. And two more puppies came along. Now how many puppies are playing at the park? And now you can give them a signal by clapping your hands so that they corally respond five. And if you'd rather, you could certainly use unifix cubes. They're another really excellent facts-wise manipulative, and you could go through the same process. There are three puppies playing at the park, and two more puppies came along. Now how many puppies are playing at the park? And once again, they would be able to reveal the five. I definitely encourage teachers to think about using at least two of the four manipulatives that we talk about in FactsWise. Hands and fingers are a go-to because they're always available. You don't have to pass anything out or worry about losing anything. And then at least one of the other three manipulatives, the Slavonic abacus or five or ten frames. We'll use ten frames more as we get into goal two and higher. And or unifix cubes. There's research that shows that when students use more than one manipulative and are asked to compare and contrast what they notice, how they work with that manipulative for the same concept, their benefits and increase student success with the topic. So that idea that you could just stick with one manipulative throughout FactsWise but there's definite value in using at least two. If you decide you want to use all four across the year, that's probably great. Just be careful not to use too many on the same day, especially as you're entering a new topic. Feel free to make your own stories for this mini lesson six. You can certainly use puppies in the park throughout the year whenever we switch to a new goal will be using these same kinds of stories, but you or your students may get a little bit tired of puppies in the parks, and so you may want to switch it up. Certainly sports can be a great topic, or animals like monkeys or snakes, um, and anything else that seems of interest to you and your students. 
you'll see on the video that the kindergarten teacher and her students were probably studying nature in science. And so they were talking about monkeys and snakes. Also, remember that you can incorporate this activity as a transition or little bits of time activity through the class class routine. So once the students are comfortable with this idea of these stories, you can use class class. So it goes like this, class class, yes, yes. Let's do a little math. There were three puppies at the park. Will everybody show me three puppies on your fingers? And two more puppies came along. Now, how many puppies are at the park? And when you clap your hands, everyone should chorally respond. If you see students forgetting and putting one of the add-ins on one hand and the other add-in on the other hand, they're certainly going to be able to get the answer right, but you may notice that they need to count. So then you can work with them and say, let's try it again, but this time try putting the three on your hand and then the two more on the same hand. And then maybe you'll be able to figure out the answer without needing to count.